Hello, wonderful patrons of the internet, and thank you so much for tuning into our video today. Welcome to our afternoon art project, which I used to have named afternoon slash after school art. I put out a poll a few weeks ago asking all of you what your favorite after school art project name was. Over the course of everything that has been going on, I have been able to speak with my volunteers almost every single week. They are still incredibly active and they are helping me out with quite a bit more than you guys probably know. They've helped me come up with so many different things over the last few months and also for the summer and also even for some fall programming as well. And so they actually helped me come up with the names for these as well. But the problem was that we couldn't decide on our favorite one. Instead of having some preteens and teens get mad at me, I figured I would outsource all of that to our wonderful Facebook community. Our favorite names that we came up with were Think Outside the Crayon Box, More Than Crayons, Art from the Heart, and Young Brushes. Now, I didn't get as much interest as I was anticipating. However, luckily, one of our favorite names was chosen, and that was Art from the Heart. And boy, is that a true statement from me. I love doing the art projects here for the library because I've always been a fairly crafty and artistic person. Well, maybe not artistic so much, but definitely crafty. And I really enjoy sharing all of that with the kids here. It's really fun to use that part of my brain and come up with simple art projects that all ages can do. And also think about a way that I can make it simple for the youngest person that can come and also slightly more complicated for the oldest person that can come. If you came to Kids Curbside, the items provided to you were a bookmark, a watercolor paint palette, a paintbrush that came with the watercolor paint palette, and a piece of ribbon. You are also going to need a cup of water. Now, if you have used watercolors before, I am sure you know you need to start wetting your paintbrush with the water and then you are going to wet all of your different colors on your paint palette. Now do it one at a time and be sure to always wipe it off in between your different colors. I decided today that I wanted to make a little flower because I thought that was be that would be a really simple thing to do. If you wanted to, you could also draw a picture of what you wanted to color in um, later on. Another thing to tell you is that with watercolors, they often do the best when they do not have a lot of water on them. They are a lot more pigmented or a brighter color if you end up using less water. They also need to be layered quite a bit. And so if you let them dry in between, in between coats, you're going to get much, much brighter colors. Now that you have completed your bookmark, now let it dry for a little bit before you end up putting the ribbon on. To put your ribbon on the bookmark, you are going to take it, straighten it out, and then fold it over. Then once you have folded it over, you are going to thread it through the hole in the bookmark. Once you have done that, loop the end of the ribbon through the hole and then tighten it a little bit, but be careful with this so you don't end up ripping the bookmark entirely. And there you have it, a beautiful watercolor bookmark to mark your place in your books. And you can also check this book out if you would like. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it. If you are watching this on our Facebook page, please don't forget to like, share, and comment. And if you're on our new YouTube channel, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Bye.